a long wait for a video. I promise I'm gonna get back on track because summer is coming. I just really haven't been feeling up to it recently, but either way, I have some really good news. So Pixcon like reached out to me finally. It's been so long. And they gave me 20,000 coins and gems. And they're also looking to like help you guys because uh, on their channel right now they've been doing a lot of giveaway streams where they give away like thousands of gems. So it's going to help everyone out. It's great how the devs are finally looking out for the community and listening to us because they finally got a community manager so they're going to be talking to us. They also have a discord as well. I also have a discord where I accept myths and everything is pretty cool. Also, thanks to everyone who watched the first video on my second channel. I'm going to upload another one. I know it's kind of cringy, but, you know, I'm going to show more of my personality over there. So thanks, guys. Let's get into the video. All right, so the first myth is that you can glitch out of the new raid mode. And you didn't really give me a lot to go off of, but there's this small area. I'm going to look at his map, kind of, to see where to go. Are you guys liking this new game mode? I think it's pretty cool. At first it was kind of terrible because uh, nobody knew what to do, but now that everyone has his stuff, it seems to be working pretty well. Alright, we're going to look for a patch of grass. Okay, so we found the area, finally. And you can go into the map, yeah, that's really cool. So this is a small little glitch, but it's very interesting. As you can see in the little image though, it looks pretty funny. Your guy will just have his head poking out. Unfortunately, there's no third person in this game mode, but yeah, that myth is confirmed. Thank you so much for that one. Let's get into the next myth. All right, so the next myth is on Battle Royale. It's been a quick minute since we've been on the Battle Royale map for a myth, but apparently you come across these portals and uh, I wonder where they take you. I don't know, it's pretty cool how they're doing this, but his map kind of shows the plane crash. So we'll go there. I think I know where we're going. Such a big map. So it's, I think it's actually inside of the pyramid or the sphinx or whatever you want to call it. Are there any? Yep, there are. That's cool. Wow, and we got like space stuff. This is proof that aliens made the pyramids, you know? Let's go in. And you teleport out here to the other side of the mountain. Let's go through this one then. And you go right back. That's that's really cool. I kind of want to lead somebody in here and then ambush them on the other side. Let me try this real quick. All right, we're going to get this guy... Come on, man. All right, he knows where I am. Hopefully he comes through. We're gonna be ready. He's, he ran away. Either way, I think there's a lot of ways you can use this portal. So that myth is confirmed. It takes you to the other side of the mountain. I think that would've been cool if they took you to like a full different area of the map. That would be really cool. But let's go ahead and get on to the next myth. So somebody found a sign in the Christmas map, and I believe that it's for the girl. I kind of just want to find the sign because I don't, I don't think it was here a while ago. And you know, a find me sign is pretty ominous, it's creepy. So hopefully I can find it, and hopefully it's on Christmas night. And if you don't know already, there's a girl that spawns right there sometimes and it's pretty creepy it was kind of foreshadowing stuff in the campaign kind of looks like it was taken like right here maybe one of these pictures will turn into the find me once this girl spawns so we're gonna wait till the girl spawns first then we'll look this is the cutest pet i've ever seen it's a small little ferret in a spy outfit i love it so what I'm guessing will happen is, right once the girl spawns, all of the pictures with the waves and everything will turn into a Find Me poster, because, like, if you look at his picture, it looks like he's just sitting, like, right here, maybe, at one of these pictures, and the frame is, like, the same, so. Plus, I looked in every house, and I wasn't seeing anything. 
All right, I've been doing this for around 15 minutes now, I believe, and she just doesn't seem to be spawning, and the pictures don't seem to be changing either. So I'm gonna try this a little bit later. All right, this next myth could be really helpful because a lot of people struggle with campaign, and apparently in Park or City and campaign, or Citadel, he's meaning, uh, jump to the correct spot and you'll float. So he said it's to the left, I believe it's somewhere down here. We're gonna jump over here. <gasps> First try. Whoa. I was not expecting to get it first try because usually these myths take quite a while, but land right here and one of these picture things or one of these yellow things will save you. I'm gonna try that again. And the thing with this is you can still shoot the enemies. I believe it's probably gonna be patched because I think Pixgun may watch my videos as possible. If, if you are, tell me. That would be cool. But it seems like it's only that one spot. And this guy, he's a G for finding it. How do you find stuff like this? Now I'm gonna attempt to yeah, it's easy because it stops you. I'm gonna attempt to win the game to see if like the mods will stay in my sight. Cause there's there's no way I'm getting back up there, but still, if you're fighting a boss, I'm sure he'll stay in an area like this. Actually, let me try that. All right, we've got all the enemies killed after this one, and then we're gonna jump down there and see if the boss actually come look at me or if he's just gonna sit there looks like he did he just teleport into the wall it looks like he's in the wall <laughs> this is really weird I don't think yeah, there's no way that this is intentional but either way myth confirmed that is really cool and bye all right this next myth is that if you look over the edge of the aircraft carrier, this is a new map if you've never seen it. Apparently there's the Battle Royale, and I can already see what looks like the Battle Royale map. Whoa. Now it's obviously not the entire map, it's just a, it's just a image. But, you know, it's attention to detail that really makes me happy. And look at all that. We've got the entire map. And he also says that if you look up in the sky during a battle royale map, you can see the aircraft carrier. So, look at all this. You know what, having a mobile game that can do stuff like this is really nice. It's cool how far phones have gone. And yeah, that myth is confirmed the first part of the myth. Let's go ahead and check it out, the battle royale. Now what I think would be really cool is uh, if you jump out of the ship at the right moment can actually land on the aircraft carrier. Of course that's not gonna happen, but just imagine. And I can see it in the distance, there it is. And just like I suspected, it is really far away, but I just wanna see if there's any, yep, you can see the little cannons. That is awesome. That is really cool. Thanks for this myth, it is confirmed. It's been a while since I've uh, went into a game and looked for the small things, but apparently zombies with no heads can still take headshot damage. So, as you can see, they don't have any heads. It seems to be perfect. So we're gonna find that sweet spot that will give us the headshot. Hey, I think this would be easier with a garbage gun. Ooh, a shotgun will get the full area. Alright, so nowhere on his torso will you get a headshot. So I'm gonna fly above him and see if we can shoot like from the top, maybe. I'm gonna have to find a new match because this doesn't have any more good zombies. And Pig's Gun Devs, if you're watching this video, you know what I think would be really cool? If you could get this thing running again. Remember back then when it would like kill you? I don't know. Small things like that make me very happy. So let's fly above him. 
And it doesn't look like, at the moment, he has any headshot places. Maybe on the raid game mode, there's a different zombies. So, I guess we'll go check that out for now. Actually, I'm pretty sure there are more zombies with no heads on this map. So, we'll try that out as well. It looks like these zombies changed. That's cool. They used to be in, like, army uniforms, but now they're in kind of strange, weird stuff. You know what? I don't think there's going to be anything coming from these headless zombies. But, you know, it was a cool myth, so thank you so much for that one. Let's go ahead and get on to the next one, if there is a next one. Actually, I'm going to probably go back to the girl myth. All right. We're back to the find me myth. So as I said before, all of these pictures are normal. I've checked them all, I believe. But what I'm hoping is that they'll change once the girl spawns. But we're having a problem with her spawning. All right, I've been, uh, I've been waiting for a painfully long time and I still don't think she's spawning right now. So I'm gonna restart the app, I guess. Uh, it's funny because like sometimes she spawns instantly at like three minutes, but then other times of the day she doesn't spawn at all. So I'm wondering if it's a time of day thing in real life. Oh, finally! I can't even tell you how. Oh my goodness! Oh, it's been so long. As you can see, I was watching a YouTube video, and there's the picture. Okay, we finally found it. Oh. Oh, it's been so long. Okay, well we found it. That myth is confirmed. Very cool. Very, very cool. I wonder if it did it to any other pictures or did it... It was just that one. Uh, looks like it might just be that one. This guy was standing on the chair. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's just this one. You know what? Uh, yeah. This game has just great attention to small details, which is great. So yeah, that myth is confirmed. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really, it actually does mean a ton that you guys are sticking around even though I don't really upload that much. But I'm going to try. I just don't really feel too good about what I've been doing on my YouTube channel because, you know, Pixgun, I've been doing it for the last like two or three years. You know, burnouts are terrible because I just feel completely unmotivated, but I'm going to do it anyways for you guys. And I'm also going to start uploading a lot more on my second channel, hopefully, and it's going to be more kind of comedy. It may not be good for everyone, but it's going to be fun because I'm going to do all kinds of games with my friends and stuff. I'm going to show more of my personality. Either way, that's going to do it for today's video. Yeah, I've already said that. Bye. I am upset that I cannot fall in love, but I guess this voice is stressful falling out of it.